I want to show you a very bizarre and disturbing story from the Mars Volta. Now, he is allegedly being pursued by the Church of Scientology, who he claims have been uh, harassing him and even poisoned his dog. These are very serious allegations, and he shares a statement on it. There is a reason for the Church of Scientology to be very angry with him. If you're not familiar with some of the allegations made against that organization, there is a TV show and a documentary. The documentary aired on HBO. It's called Going Clear. I highly recommend checking that out to give you sort of an idea of the, the, the forces in play here. So uh, basically the reason that the Mars Volta front man is drawing ire from Scientology and allegedly um, being targeted by them in a very malicious way is because his wife actually publicly accused Danny Masterson. You know him from That 70s Show. He is also an avid member of the Church of Scientology and respectively, the vocalist of the Mars Volta and his wife were also former members themselves. That's a whole nother can of worms. When you leave the Church of Scientology, that can be a very divisive thing. Um, and th there are rumors and allegations and innuendo that the Church of Sci Scientology tends to follow and keep tabs on their former members. Now, Metal Sucks has a great report on this that I'm gonna be sourcing, and I've linked to their report in the description of this video. So here's a little background. Cedric and his wife, Chrissy Carnell, were members of the Church of Scientology, Chrissy since the late 90s, and Cedric for a brief period in the mid 2010s. Since then, Cedric has been a vocal critic of the organization, most visibly in 2017, when he published a series of tweets accusing the church of covering up for one of its members, actor Danny Masterson, best known for that 70s show. Chrissy was one of several women to accuse him after which um, he alleges that the couple were the focus of targeted harassment by Scientologists and that the authorities were no help whatsoever because Twitter, TMZ, and LAPD are all bought and paid for allegedly they are heavily influenced by Scientology. So he went on to claim that their former dog was poisoned. He is not the only person to make the allegation that uh, the Church of Scientology is known for harming the animals and pets of loved ones when they go outside. Uh, he says that their previous dog was poisoned and he says, now the ashes of my dog sit staring at me and my family in our living room. Coincident, I love nothing more to get taken to court so that all parties involved can get deposed. How you doing, Marty Singer? How's that Cosby money treating you? Marty Singer was a lawyer for Bill Cosby's defense and has been sending Cedric cease and desist letters regarding the tweets about Masterson. So he is apparently representing him in the claims about this, but it doesn't seem like they're gonna move forward with litigation because when that happens, and a lot of people don't realize this, you're gonna sit in on depositions, oftentimes taped and they get to ask you any questions they want basically for eight hours and you're under oath and they can really, really get a lot of information that can be damaging to the person that is the plaintiff in that case. So here's a recent post. He says, I'm at the vet dealing with another hurt animal. This is what I've been finding in my front and backyard. This is what Scientology does when you speak about the predators they protect. And then here's the heartbreaking news that he shared right afterwards. He said, we had to put her down today. This was the result of eating rat poison rolled up in raw meat. This is the second dog we've had to put down due to the harassment from private investigators and Scientologists. This only makes us stronger. My boys named her Biscuit. They still don't understand what's happening. We said goodbye to her and let her go peacefully. This led to him to post a follow-up statement which says, I will not shut my mouth about this shit. Clearly you repugnant pieces of shit. Don't want my wife and I to tell our story. We most certainly have uh, some interesting receipts that can tie a whole load of Xenu sympathizers and Xenu soldiers to this. Never trust a Scientologist who tries to co-op me uh, to the movement. Never trust an artist who is still friendly with their Scientologist celebrity pals. You know who I'm talking about. Go ahead and scroll past this and turn your blind eye. This whole bullshit idea of tolerance is a very convenient way of you hiding your head in a hole while you separate the artists from their spiritual beliefs. I have an idea who he's talking about. You go ahead and take gigs with these people. You would be an utter fool to think that the money you help make on tour with these sheeps doesn't go back to a celebrity center. It bet If Beck can leave, what the F 
is your chicken excuse. You got to wonder what kind of dirt they've got on you from auditing sessions or your time in a purification rundown. They pass on your folders around and own you. You would be surprised who's in whose pocket. Man, these are very, very serious allegations. And if they prove to be correct, obviously they would impose very serious penalties on those involved. And I don't really know what to say about this other than if I was a former member of Scientology, I would certainly have uh, security cameras because there are just so many people making claims. And I've got to say this. Why would people just all of a sudden in massive numbers turn their backs on Scientology and each share their stories? Is this just some bizarre hobby that these people all around the country want to endure harassment or is there more to this? It seems like it's a situation where there's smoke. There's got to be some fire or embers burning somewhere. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. But uh, my heart goes out to them and the loss of their beloved pet. Pets, rather. There was an earlier one. Very sad situation. Very, very sad. And we will... Follow this closely with any new developments. We'll let you know. Anyways, that is all for now. Thanks so much for joining us today at Rockfeed. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking news and updates. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you all very soon.